Fox, we are honored to have today on our post-game show Look uh, who's a regular up here. A regular Come on, right. now. That's F.P. Santangelo. If he's on the BC. right, he's a regular guy. But Bob <laughs> Carpenter holding out for a little bit more cash or some kind of a trade deal yeah. thing to, to make an appearance in the post-game. We really appreciate you, Bob, hanging around to be with uh, Ray, myself, and F.P. Well, Johnny, the truth of the matter is I've been a little under the weather for the, almost all of spring training. We didn't want to get you guys sick in the studio by having me come on with you. But it's great to be with you in the post game. Uh, we wish it was under better circumstances. Uh, rough ride here in FP, kind of a, an interesting series. Nats dominant Monday night, 4-0, everything's looking great. And all of a sudden, 20 runs given up in the last two games. Yeah, I mean, but they won 50 games on the road last year. They were a great road team. They start the season off 4-2. So so I'm going to spin it that way. Max Scherzer didn't have his great stuff today. We were really excited driving the ballpark today, thinking, oh, five and one road trip. Yeah. Max is on the mound. But Fulton Avich was better today. You got to tip your cap and give credit where credit was due. And the young kid came out throwing strikes. He was mixing it up nice. He had a 97 mile an hour fastball. So, you know, sometimes you have to give credit to the other team. But today it was to Mike Fulton Avich. He pitched great. Yeah, long game last night. You turn around and play at 12 10 today. Uh, the strike zone, as we mentioned in the first inning, seemed pretty generous. It was kind of floating around different areas today, but hey, you, it was the same for both teams, and you go play tomorrow. Let's talk about Adam Eaton. I think we checked a big box for him today when we saw him go get that ball, and you made a great point about the catch. He, he ended up on the ground, and that's the best way to stop, maybe, when you're still nursing that knee. Yeah, when you don't have breaks, just run into something. He ran into the ground. It was a great route, a clean play. Uh, there's going to be a time here shortly when we're not talking about his knee, but right now when you watch him play, he's 80%. He said it, but uh, his quote was 80 is the new 100, so we wa love <laughs> watching him play. And, you know, just kind of recap the series real quick, and we'll throw it back to you guys. You know, they played good baseball, but early in the season as a new manager with new personnel, Davey Martinez is finding out about his team right now. He's finding out about roles in the bullpen. Yeah. He's finding out about how guys react to a day off, how guys react to coming off the bench. So he's learning this ball club, and I think he's finding out some things about the bullpen right now, and he's finding out things about guy, giving guys days off or maybe pinch hitting for guys to give them a rest. So he's still learning. It's all a process. So you take a 4-2 and two road trip any day against whoever to start a season. Yeah, 4-2. and two. two out of every three on the road. That'll put you into the playoffs in October. So now, FP, we turn our attention toward tomorrow. Steven Strasburg, dominant in Cincinnati. The Mets are coming in. They're delayed about three hours today playing their game, so they're going to be playing the Phillies for a while up in New York. So this will be a quick turnaround for them. Not a long trip, obviously, but uh, the excitement of opening day, there's nothing like it, and we hope everybody has a wonderful time and can't wait. Yeah, man, we're ready to get home and see opening day, and Steven on the mound will be a fun day tomorrow for sure. Just to see the thousands of fans gathered around the set in left center field is one of the great spectacles <laughs> of opening day oh, for the Nats Extra pregame and postgame show. So you guys be humble tomorrow, and we'll join you from our lofty perch. You know, I somehow get the feeling he's trying to bag out of the rest of these postgame <laughs> interviews with him with lines like that. Thank you, Bob. We really appreciate that. FP, as always, a regular on Nats Extra postgame show. We'll see you guys tomorrow at the ballpark.